Today we're heading to explore to make our opponent discard their hand and see how many permanents we can seal with turret and how many waste not triggers we can generate. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Sephrata Live, and it's time for another edition of Much Abrute About Nothing. And this week, we have a deck I am super excited about. We are heading to Explorer to play some Turgrid Waste Knot action, and I've always loved Waste Knot, I've always loved Turgrid, but there's a big new addition from Shadows over Innistrad Remastered that completely changes this archetype, makes the deck so much better, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. So let's talk about Turgrid Waste Knot. Jump into some games and make our opponent discard some cards. So we're built around two cards, Waste Knot Turgrid. Both of these cards reward us for making our opponent discard. Waste Knot's gonna make zombie tokens or mana or draws cards, depending on what our opponent discards. Turgrid, if our opponent discards a permanent or sacrifices one, which maybe they do to the backside of Turgrid or some of our other stuff, we just get to put it into play under our control, which is ridiculous. So we got a lot of typical Waste Knot Turgrid stuff. Uh, what the deck wants to do is make your opponent discard a bunch. So we got Thawsies and Goblank and Liliana, which can also be a sacrifice outlet for Turgrid. The problem traditionally though, with Waste Knot and also Turgrid decks, is once we run our opponent out of cards, our deck stops working. Like once our opponent's empty handed, they just draw their card for the turn, play it. We never get to trigger Waste Knot. We never get to steal stuff with Turgrid. But there's a new addition from Shadows over Innistrad Remastered that totally changes the equation in Gaia Reach Sanitarium, a land that makes a colorless mana more important Importantly, we can pay to and tap it to make each player draw a card and discard a card. So what Gaia Reach Sanitarium actually says is pay three mana, trigger your waste knots every single turn. Pay three mana, maybe steal stuff with Turgrid every turn. Instead of running out of action once our opponent's empty handed, now we actually greatly benefit when our opponent's out of cards. If we can get our opponent out of cards, every single turn we Gaia Reach Sanitarium, our opponent benefits not at all. They just draw a card, immediately discard it. We benefit by filtering through our deck and we're triggering our waste knots. If our opponent discards a permanent, we steal it with Turgrid. So Gaia Reach Sanitarium is the reason we're playing this deck. This is the card that makes the whole plan work, makes everything super, super sweet. We also got some other synergies for Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Asylum Visitor, we can Madness into play. Uh, plus, it draws us cards if we get our opponent empty-handed. Shieldred gains as much life as we're drawing extra cards each turn. We also have some more Edict effects to work with Turgrid. Shieldred's Edict, one of the best Edicts of all time, letting us steal our opponent's Planeswalkers or creatures with Turgrid. Liliana can be an Edict as well as a discard spell. Otherwise, we get a bunch of removal, a little graveyard hate, the mana base, castle lock queen really good, some creature land, some field of ruins, in the sideboard, a bunch of graveyard hate. That's one of the other downsides of the discard plan. If our opponent actively wants cards in the graveyard, we could be helping them. So after sideboarding, we got ley lines and go blanks, Kali tosses, some more discard, a bunch more removal, and that is Turgrid Race Knot, featuring the huge new addition, Gaia Reach Sanitarium for Explorer. That's our Much Abrew deck for this week. So let's jump into some games and see if we can steal some permanents with Turgrid. See how many waste not triggers we can generate with Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Need some March of the Machines cards? Well, you can snag them from our awesome sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash MTG Goldfish. Much more about nothing time. We are trying to steal our opponent's stuff with, uh, with Turgrid and Waste Not in explorer got a just a ridiculously big ridiculously big upgrade to this deck and uh gyre reach sanitarium of all things the problem with waste not decks and to a lesser extent shield red decks is uh you know what let's just let's just do this now um and to a lesser extent shield red decks is once your opponent's out of cards they stop doing anything Gaia Reach Sanitarium pretty much just solves that problem. Yeah, let's just keep killing stuff. Well, all right. I mean, sure. <laughs> we haven't found a way to make our, make our opponent discard, but we do have a Shieldred. Shieldred also sneaky good with Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Opponent, Adeline, Field of Ruin, not looking the best. You know what? Let's eat a Fatal Push draw card. We want some discard. Oh, another Waste Nut. Well, okay. More. If we ever make our, if we ever find our Gaia Reach Sanitariums, we are in business. Let's just stay on defense. We can kill the Adeline, but we don't really, wow. 
So our opponent must have a Jano. If they have Jano now, they get blown out. You, you should have, should have waited. Ooh. Uh, Castle Lockway. Power word kill. Oh, the blowouts. And we found this. Ah, that blows goes it up. <laughs> Just so you know, I don't know if everyone knows this. Magic is weird the way phases work. So there is actually a period of time after damage has been dealt that is still combat, like the end of combat phase. In that situation, if our opponent had went full control or set a stop, what they could have done is waited until after Adeline damaged Shieldred and then use a Jano they would have gotten to kill the Shieldred and we wouldn't have been able to blow them out that way. That is a, a little trick to keep in mind, those little fringe things. In this case, that little fringe trick, actually the difference between our opponent potentially winning and losing that match really ends up mattering. We'll go down what? One of the weird things about sideboarding with this deck is we still kind of want our discard for waste not. Like, Thought Seize would be a card. I guess we can cut a Thought Seize. Like, Thought Seize and Go Blank would be the kind of cards you would normally cut against. You know what? Maybe we still cut them. But all that to say, this card has more value in our deck than most decks because we actually want to trigger our, our Waste Knots and our Shieldreds. So even in matchups where discard isn't as good, we still want to keep at least some of it or our Waste Knots don't do as much. Cool. All right. This is a little risky because... Because Thalia could be a problem. Wow, it's a lot of one-drops. I mean, if we can get to this extinction event while still being alive, it's going to be very good. These extinction events, opponent combat. So that actually doesn't, well, I guess it stops Turgrid, but it doesn't really do much against us. Yeah, I guess we just wait. There's our Gyre Reach Sanitarium. You know what, let's just play it. All right, no, no Thalias, please. We just want to cast an extinction event. Make our opponent extinct. <laughs> opponent, it says down to 12. Oh, opponent, opponent, friend. I think we go odds. Unfortunately, this rest in peace does mean we can't steal stuff with Turgrid. We can, however, play the backside of Turgrid and just start burning ya. They're not playing creatures. Okay, there's the Thalia. Oh, it uh, passes. Well, Turgrid's Lantern. Maybe it's just a bunch of stuff to try to protect creatures. I am befuddled as to what our opponent is up to. How they can have this many cards and not be doing anything. Yeah, let's untap. Activate. Opponent discards. Okay, more rest in pieces. Play the land. Turgrid's land. Maybe this Turgrid's lantern could just go all the way. Opponent. Portable hole. They just drew a ton of removal. Opponent untaps. Luminarchus Pirate. Well, all right. Sack a non-token creature like Thalia. Well, normally we want to be winning with the front half of a uh, Turgrid, but we are not above winning with the Lantern. <laughs> lantern you? It's getting there. Three damage at a time. Well, let's activate. Opponent down to 11. Pass the turn. We're one land away from untapping twice. Uh, yeah, whatever. Well, untap the Lantern. Opponent discards of planes. Well, Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Discard Extinction Event. Opponent discards of planes. I'll play the land. Lantern you. I think we're going to get there. I think we're just going to get there with the lantern. Opponent. Down around the Aspirant. It's us. Sure, down to three. The problem for our opponent is, though, we get to untap lantern. They're going to have to start sacking stuff here at some point. Untap Lantern. I mean, we can kill the Aspiring if we need to. Opponent. Discards. We draw a Castle Lockway. Activate the Lantern. Yeah, we don't want to accidentally die. Yeah, let's just play it safe. I guess we are going to have to kill the... I mean, we have five removal spells in hand. Fatal push you. Lantern. Activate it. This Turgid Lantern going all the way. I mean, the removal help, but... Opponent discards Ossification. Sure. 
uh, lantern. Activate it. <laughs> ah, got him! We didn't get to see Waze not go off. We didn't get to see Turgrid proper go off, but we did get to see Turgrid's lantern be activated a lot of times. Like that's really, we killed some stuff and cast a sweeper. We didn't even cast much removal that game. We cast one Shielder's Edict, one Extinction Event, one Fatal Bush. Our opponent drew a ton of lands in removal, and we just better man at Turgrid's Landering, and it was enough. Meh, sweet. Much brew about nothing time. We are trying to steal our opponent's permanence with a Turgrid. Also, Waste Knotting. This hand, this hand. We got the Waste Knot up against Jingatha, which. Sacrifice, maybe most commonly. Well, we will keep. The question is, do we thought he's on one? Normally I do with this deck, even if we have Waste Knot in hand. Like, the idea of trying to wait to get Waste Knot value is nice. The problem with not thought seizing on one is we want to take off turn two for Waste Knot and we risk falling too far behind. All right, definitely. Oh, sacrifice. Sacrifice. Yeah, you know what? I think we still do it. Yeah, we'll take Fable. Opponent can like Croxa and sack it to make some food, which is cute, but yeah, this matchup's kind of hilarious because Turgrid just absolutely owns Cat Oven. Like, we don't even really need to do anything else. We just need to play Turgrid, pound at Black Cleave Cliffs, and might as well. Yeah, Croxa and sack it. I think we actually just discard Shieldred here. There'll be more Shieldreds in the future. Opponent's almost out of cards, which means this Asylum Visitor is pretty close to actually drawing cards. That's a really good draw. Uh, well, let's waste not. Pass the tur. Gaia Reach Sanitarium is huge, so we're gonna be able to start triggering our waste not, which is big game. Also, waste not kind of hates on Fable too, which is funny. Makes it hard to uh, actually loot with it. Well, Deadly Dispute's a good draw for our opponent. A way to turn a food into two new magic cards. Opponent, pass in. Well, so we can start looting, although that is going to make Crocs. Oh, did they chain them together? They did. Opponent has one card in hand. Well, opponent, more deadly disputes. Well, those are two very good. Opponent went from no action to a lot of action with those two deadly disputes. Still a little bit away from Crocs, thankfully. And we have our synergy set up, which is nice. Oh my goodness. Hi, ay, 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 ay. Well, our opponent is very much back in this game now. Well, all right, can I reach Sanitarium? I guess we just discard the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Oh, they did discard the land, so we could have played the, we could have played the Asylum Visitor. Oh, there's Turfrit too. Play the land past the turn. Why you got it? But we're actually kind of rooting for this Croxa, because then we can put Asylum Visitor into play and then just kill it. Wow, they did it. Okay, this is this is actually hilariously perfect. So Croxa comes down. But we will discard Asylum Visitor and cast it with its madness cost. Thank you. Thank you, Croxa. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's just get rid of Croxa. All right, kills the so opponent's back down to one card. Can we draw land for this Turgrid? That would be spectacular. Opponent sacks. Well, okay, not quite, but Shieldred's not a bad backup. Get down Shieldred. Opponent draws. Once we get Turgrid, this is so bad for our opponent. Opponent, land. Wait, this doesn't work, right? Okay, so they hit us, but we get to keep our shield. Right? Oh, they get to sack it. Duh. Okay. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Okay, there's the land. There's Turgrid. Come on, Turgrid. Can we overcome an Angrath? Takes up. We lose our fatal push. What did they top deck? Just a land. Yeah, so Lockwing draws. I mean, their deck shouldn't be very good at killing Turgrid. Pass it. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that. Angrath down. Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Discard Meat Hook Massacre. Fatal Push, so we get to draw a card. Play Castle Lockway and pass the turn. Sure. Opponent sacks of food to gain some life. Opponent is getting close to another Croxa. Okay, gets Jengatha, sure. Plays a land. 
plays Jengatha. Well, we get to channel take Numa. Pony has zero cards in hand. Do we take Asylum Visitor? That might be better. Yeah, let's take Asylum Visitor. Another Asylum Visitor. Well, one, two. Loot with Gaia Reach. Discard a land. Okay, so we get the land. We get some mana to cast the Asylum Visitor. And then we pass the turn. If our opponent gets back Croxa, we get to do it again. We get to put Asylum Visitor into play and then kill the Croxa. That's so good. Blood Tithe Harvest that. Would you like to loot opponent? Trigger all of our, yes, yes. We will take a Witch's Oven. Thank you very much. <laughs> and draw a card. And that means it's not in the graveyard so they can't get it back. <laughs> Our opponent had this sneaky line in it, totally backfired because of Turgrid. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Well, let's block with Asylum Visitor. Sack it to the Witch's Oven. Who's the, who's the cat oven deck now? All we need is the cat. That's the only thing we're missing. Yeah, we might as well sack the food, gain a bit of life. Uh, so we untap. We will spin it to win it with Gaia Reach. Come on, something big, something big, something good. Uh, discard a Asylum Visitor. Yes, oh, this is so good. We get a zombie. We get the Blood Tithe Harvester. We get the Blood Token. We get to Madness the Asylum Visitor. Play the land. Play Liliana. Take down Liliana. Join us, Blood Tithe Harvester. Join us down to the Bugbear, I guess. We get to steal it thanks to Turgrid. Oh, Turgrid's so good here. Yeah, get in and hit you. Might as well. Turgrid is going off. This is the this is the full Turgrid waste not experience. Still doesn't have enough cards. Still doesn't have enough cards to get back there. <laughs> They're Croxa because we keep stealing them with Turgrid. <sighs> opponent. Fable the mirror breaker. Good magic card. Would you like to would you like to do some looting, opponent, please? Whoa, 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 settle down there. Settle down there, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Oh, they're trying to kill Liliana? We can't down tick it again, so it isn't doing anything for two turns. Goes attacking. Eats Shieldred. We are going to block here, block here, block here. Kill a bunch of stuff. This is finally gonna give our opponent the cards they need to Crocs the next turn, but we still got Turgrid. As long as we got Turgrid, we're good. Um, So one, two, Guy Reach Sanitarium. Give us some good A's. Uh, discard a swamp. Opponent discards. Yes, Mayhem Devil. Yes, bring it over here. Uh, yes, we'll take a Mayhem Devil. We will play another Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Keep the new one. We will activate Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Something else good? We'll discard a Turgrid. Opponent discards. Aw, just a village, right? Okay. We'll take up Liliana. Discard a Thoughtseize. Go to combat, hit you with Turgrid. Play Shieldred. Pass the turn. Oh, we have we have so much of our opponent's deck. When did they just give up? Okay, opponent does not loot with Fable. So I can get back Croxa. I just I'm not sure anything our opponent does matters at this point. Croxa, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Uh we will discard a fatal push. And unlucky witness. I mean, this has been the, the Turgrid dream, essentially. March of Wretched Sorrow. March of Wretched Sorrow. Unlucky witness. Opponent sacks it. Ping ya. Steal unlucky witness. Opponent, fatal push. Ooh, fatal push actually means they can kill the shield red. I don't think any of this matters, though. I think we still just win here in the most Turgridy way possible. Opponent's actually... Wow, they kill the mayhem devil. Sure, we'll take an unlucky witness. Ping it down to seven. Opponent gets some food. Now, well, power word kill. Basically, we're trying to set up this Liliana down tick taking Proxa. Sacks it. Sure. However, yes, this has, <laughs> I agree. This has been very nice. Take down. Croxa, join us. And this should be lethal, right? Opponent gains some life, but. We steal their Croxa. We hit him for three. And then we go to combat and we just attack. And that is Turgrid dominating a game of magic. That was 
purely a Turgrid win. Like straight up over the top Turgrid dominating that game. Oh, all right, what do we want against Cat Oven? Probably Lane Lines. Maybe an extinction event. Maybe the Go Blanks. What do we cut? That is the that is the tricky part. So Fatal Push is okay. We can trim Thought Seize. Maybe an Asylum Visitor. Probably a Meat Hook Massacre. Can we go down a Shield Rid? Can we actually afford to do that? It does die to Fatal Push. Maybe we go down one Shield Rid. How about a Liliana? Let's try it like that. General trimming for more graveyard hate. I mean, the graveyard hate's really good against our opponent's deck. So we gotta, we gotta make room for it one way or another. Two colorless lands, eh? You know what? We're gonna try this. The go blanks are so tempting. Oh no. All right. Maybe we regret this. Opponent, more unlucky witnesses. Oh, okay, so our, our opponent has their own version of the world's greediest keep. Uh, Castle Lockwain, go. Opponent gets in for two. Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Well, we know we're getting action, so go blank you. I mean, with three go blanks, I wish we had Waste Knot. Waste Knot would be awesome here, but with three go blanks, we should be able to pretty much empty our opponent's hand. All right, opponent finds land number two, gets in with unlucky witnesses. They gotta have deadly dispute. That's the only way this makes sense is if they have deadly dispute. Thought sees, well, no deadly dispute yet. Opponent's gonna see some bad news though, which is we have a handful of go blanks. Go blank number two. This is the 2023 Explorer version of him, him, I win. <laughs> go blank, go blank, uh, you are out of luck. Uh, hi with that, direct. go. All right, there's the deadly dispute. Sacks a witness. Hits a land, hits a fable. Fatal push, unlucky witness. Oven and land. Well, okay, go blank number three. Discard some lands. Well, I mean, we will see. We have eaten through most of our opponent's resources, but we also, we haven't found any of our payoffs. No Turgrid. Okay, which is oven. No Turgrid, no Waste Knot. So no payoffs yet. Fable of the Mia Breaker. Blow up the den of the bugbear. I guess cat. Cat could still be an issue. If our opponent can just get a cauldron, we're down to 13. It's possible that that could get us. Oh, there's the cat, okay. Opponent sacks it, so cat synergies online. We do need a we do need a payoff. Like cat oven will get us eventually. We are gonna play that. Would have been even better earlier, but this does mean we're not gonna die to cat oven. So opponent gets back the cat. Well, can we beat a fable of the mirror breaker and the cauldron familiar? <laughs> opponent. All right, finds a mayhem devil. That is the best draw. Well, we find a Turgrid, which is reasonable. Little awkward that we got the Ley Line, so it's not actually gonna steal stuff, but it is a body that can block, which against Double Mayhem Devil, oh no. Oh, we're gonna, we're dead. Yeah, this is actually gonna do it. Oh, that's unfortunate. About it. Clean to dust. Yeah, I don't think this can save us though. I mean, we'll play, yeah, we're dead. I, oh my goodness, I can't believe we lost to this. The him, him, I win did not, did not work. I can't believe our opponent got out of this. I, I will say the only way I ever lose to this deck is it almost always involves a timely top deck of a Mayhem Devil for the opponent. That's their one way that they have like some chance of, of getting back in the game. Almost always a, a random like, oh, everything's good. We're about to win next turn. Mayhem Devil off the top. <sighs> the Edicts are a little sketchy against the cat. Maybe we go back up the Meat Hook Massacre. Then I guess Meat Hook Massacre also punishes our opponent for sacrificing stuff. We're on the play. Can we avoid the, the Mayhem Devil, the one relevant card? We got the Turgrid, we got the Waste Knot. I think, unfortunately, we do have to start with the Thought Seize to make sure our opponent doesn't have Thought Seize. We need the, the Gyre Reach Sanitarium. That would be the biggest, the biggest draw so we can just actually start triggering the Waste Knot. Well, land and Thought Seize you. Yeah, I think we just take Mayhem Devil and try to play through the rest of it. Waste Knot's pretty good at 
minimizing the impact of Fable of the Mirror Breaker, because if you loot, then we get triggers off of it. Although I guess our opponent can still loot the lands away. Opponent, unlucky witness. Well, Swamp and Waste Knot. So what do we want? Discard mostly. Land for our opponent and more unlucky witnessing. Gets and hits us. Lane line of the void. Pass the turn. Uh, we probably feel the ruin here to thin the deck. Blow up a land. Get a swamp. Drop to 15. Draw even more lands. Well, yeah, I guess we lane line. The lane line shuts down the witnesses, which are nice, but it does mean we can't steal with Turgrid, which is awkward. There's a Fable of Mirror Breaker. Opponent goes attacking down to 13. Kalitas. I think we still play Turgrid, though. Turgrid doesn't die to Fatal Push. All right, discards a land. Oh, wait, discards a Fable of Mirror Breaker. Interesting. Big attack makes a treasure. Well, we will kill the goblin. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Now play a swamp. Play Kalidus. No, no attacks this turn. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps, flips the saga. I mean, double Fable the Mirror Breaker is a way our opponent could win. We could use a removal spell. Should we not have played the ley line? I don't even know. Shutting down the unlucky witnesses seems relevant, but looking at our creatures. Wow! Finds an Angrath. No sack outlet though. So they don't get to they don't get to steal anything permanently. Maybe they just have to take up. Big draw. Well, cling to dust, the Thoughtseize draw a card. Oh, but then we're shields down for the backswing. I'll go attacking. Yeah, I think we're actually going to lose. Okay, we hit the Angrath to one. We gain some life. Opponent flips the Saga, so they're going to be able to start making a bunch of Sagas. Well, this is like super close. We really need to hit a removal spell. We have not been able to trigger waste not a single time. Wow! I told you! I told you! This is the one way! Copies Mayhem Devil. Yup! Yeah. yeah, I did mention this. Yeah, we untap. We draw another land that does literally nothing. Yeah, and this just actually makes us dead. Wow! That was some horrible running. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Well, we get to cling to dust. I guess we have to draw a fatal push. It's a ley line. Oh, those timely mayhem devils. Oh, that is so, so brutal. Yeah, well, that game, I mean, our deck did our thing. We just, we didn't draw removal. We did not draw removal. There's so many removal spells in our deck and we could not find one. Much more about nothing time. We are wasting that and trying to steal all of our opponent's stuff with a with Turgrid. Checking out the power of Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Kind of amazing how this random land makes this entire archetype possible. Oh boy, old growth troll. So our opponent's devotion splashing blue by the looks. I mean, I guess we just run it out, start the beatdowns. Some argument to holding on to it to discard to Liliana, I guess, but opponent tap land. Ooh, there's a waste knot. There's the waste knot. Well, we're going to we're going to take a turn and get the waste knot down to try to start doing fun things next turn. I mean, opponent has big unbeatable stuff should they get to it. Hopefully we can make our opponent discard the big unbeatable stuff. Old growth troll. That's a good one. Opponent passes. Well, play a land so we can Liliana tick down, but this is going to come back anyway. I mean, I guess we just go blank. Okay, mana and creature. Liliana, tick it up. Creature past the turn. I mean, opponent's almost out of cards. We can't make him discard the top of the deck, although we kind of can with Gyre Reach Sanitarium. That is the power of Gyre Reach in this deck. Uh, waste not. The problem with Waste Not 
Do they need this to flip? I think so. Need it not to flip or else they get to cast the Cavalier, which we would prefer not to happen. So we get to draw it. Come on, discard. Come on. That works, sort of. Liliana, take it up. Discard the Swamp. Opponent. Discards. Workshop War Chief, we get a zombie. Liliana number two. Keep the new one. Take it up. Get rid of that Cavalier. Oh, we're picking them apart. We're picking apart Green Devotion. We get to draw an extra card. Yeah, more Liliana's. Oh, it. More old growth trolls. Well, now we might as well kill it, I guess. Feel the Ruin would be sweet. Oh, it. old growth troll shenanigans. Yeah, let's play a Waste Knot. Liliana, take it down. Get rid of the old growth troll. That is quite the breeding pool. All right, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. We draw a land, okay, that's fine. We know our opponent, okay, just a land, passes. All right, one, two, Gyre Reach Sanitarium. This is the power of Gyre Reach Sanitarium. We'll discard the Sanitarium. Opponent discards a land. We get four mana. Land's probably the worst thing that our opponent could discard there. Fire up Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Eat a coma. So our opponent can make four fours, but that puts them down Nykthos mana. Oh, oh, they're gonna, okay, Lair of the Hydra. They put them both on the same land and you have to sack the land to make the trolls. Opponent, Lair of the Hydra. Um, well, we might as well kill it. Wow, opponent scoops it up. Doesn't even wait to see if they top deck something. And uh, that was some good waste nodding. Uh, go Blanket, Shielder's Edicted. Oh, invoke despairs in maybe we can go down cling to dust a asylum visitor and then liliana is actually a little sketchy maybe one liliana one shieldred oh we probably need extinction events maybe we got to go down one you know what let's just go extinction events well that went pretty well considering we're up against one of the scariest decks in a uh, in pioneer and explorer in mono green devotion I mean, so the risk here is we're on the draw. Our removal spell is two mana. If our opponent starts with a with a mana dork, we could be kind of far behind. Fatal push off the top. Field of Ruin. Well, let's see how far behind we are. We have the Waste Knot plus the Gaia Rage, Paradise a Druid. Our opponent got a one lander. That's risky. Oh, Castle Lockwain. Each opponent sacks a non-token creature. Abundant. Elvish Mystic. Passes. Swamp Liliana. Ticket. I mean, we're on the Kill Mana Dork plan. It's essentially like blowing up land at the moment since our opponent's missing these land drops. So every Mana Dork we kill is kind of like a stone rain. Opponent's gonna kill the Liliana. Sure. Let's play Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Waste not. Opponent really needs to draw. Okay, there's a land. And a Kiora. Oh, this Invoke Despair is going to be so brutal for our opponent. So brutal. Uh, take, this is probably game. Get the Dork. Get the Kiora. Draw a card. Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! And opponent scoops it up. Well, our opponent didn't run very well that game, but against Mile Green Devotion, we'll, we'll take it. Well, that was a good one. Sweet, sweet. Much more about nothing time. We are trying to steal our opponent's permanence with uh, with some turgrid waste not action. You know what, we'll keep this. It's got a lot of four drops. Oh, boon it. Oh no, is this even more lands? Oh dear God, and Wither Bloom commands. Opponent's playing Grease Fang. Well, this hand is horrible, but Grease Fang is a really good matchup for us. But yeah, this hand does quite literally nothing now. Go blank would be sweet. We would accept that. Drawing another shield or it's not, a, not the most optimal. Uh, Well, we will take the Grease Fang. Uh, play the Swamp past the Tur. So opponent needs a way to connive this Azekas Chariot in the graveyard and then they can reanimate. Or they can just cast the Azekas Chariot. That also, that also works. Wow, more lands. We'll play the swamp. Play Shieldred. Shieldred's good at least. Opponent draws a card. But we don't need to stop drawing uh, only lands. Non-land. Non-land Magic the Gathering cards. Opponent. 
Thought seizes our Turgrid, I assume. Passes. Well, Drainia. Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Gaia Reach is kind of cute here, so we can... We got multiple options. We can Gaia Reach put Asylum Visitor into play. But that lets our opponent loot, which isn't great. Opponent Ruffines inform it. We can also just, and what we probably will do is channel take Numa to get back Turgrid. That seems, that seems best. Turgrid. Play the Castle Lock lane, Turgrid. Well, next turn the fun begins, assuming our opponent doesn't find a removal spell, or I guess kill us. Like Parhelion in the graveyard and a Grease Fang. All right, gonna get back the Grease Fang, sure. I mean, the problem for our opponent is we get to start Gaia reaching with a with a Turgrid out. So any permanent our opponent discards becomes ours. Um, discard a, yeah, let's just discard Asylum Visitor. See what our opponent discards. Discards a land. All right, so we get the temple. Cast Asylum Visitor. This is pretty good because we can play the Field of Ruin. So if our opponent, if our opponent tries to combo off, if they can get something in the graveyard, we can Field of Ruin to kill the Grease Fang and opponent. Ooh, just another Grease Fang. Good game, good game. Well, uh, yeah, once once Turgrid starts kill, uh, stealing permanence, if you don't have an answer for that, you are in really bad shape. That is kind of the power of Turgrid. Uh, now we bring in a ton of Graveyard Hate. Bring in a bunch of Graveyard Hate. Keep in anything that can kill Turgrid at instant speed and pretty much run it like that. Well, we only got one land with Turgrid, but that's if the game continued. Once we have Gaia Reach going, we can just like steal things every turn. It's so ridiculous. Well, we're keeping this. So our opponent's probably gonna have Thought Seizes, but we have multiple answers, which is good. Edict can answer Grease Fang. Go Blank is... Well, okay, and a Thought Seize. Even, even better. I guess Grease Fang? Traverse is only getting a land for quite a while. Shielder Zeta can get rid of Liliana. Uh, yeah, let's, each opponent sacks a Planeswalker. Wow, this is actually great for us. Because we get to, we just get to put our opponent to literally nothing. <laughs> that is the best go blank. Opponent, three lands, no graveyard, no hand. And uh, I think it's lantern time. I think it's lantern time, opponent. The only downside of this is it does let our opponent discard like a Parhelion if they draw it. Oh, that would be unfor- Oh my god, it's Sky Sovereign. <gasps> no, you better not draw Grease Fang. Better not. Uh, Turgrid's Lantern. You know what, let's just, let's run it out. Shieldred, burn ya. <laughs> Mono Black Burn, take two. No Grease Fang, no Grease Fang. Scrap work, Mutt. Sure. Well, uh, burn ya. Hive of the Eye time. Wow, we are just- we are dominating this game. Go attacking, eat the Sky Sovereign, and this one is over, and yeah! I mean, the backside of Turgrid <laughs> coming through in the clutch. That wasn't even close. That was one of the biggest blowouts. Go blank can be brutal. Mind Rot plus Graveyard Aid is uh, actually pretty good. Much more about nothing time. We are... Trying to do cool things with Waste Knot in Turgrid in Explorer. And this hand has a bunch of Waste Knots. Blood Tithe Harvest. Now, this should be an interesting, interesting, interesting game. All right, Waste Knot. And we have the Gaia Reach Sanitarium to start triggering. We just gotta not fall too far behind. As long as we don't fall too far behind, these double Waste Knots with Gaia Reach is gonna be ridiculous. Opponent going to Thought Seize. Well, they're probably taking a Waste Knot, I assume. Double Waste Knot, I don't know how they actually overcome that. I mean, I guess they can take like Asylum Visitor and just try to go aggro. Gotta be Waste Knot, right? It's gotta be. Wow, they take a Turgrid, okay. Opponent goes attacking and passes. Well. We're gonna get down waste knot number two. Next turn, I think the fun begins. Opponent attacks. Sack the blood. Sack the blood. Goes attacking. Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Opponent. Drawn discard. 
So if they discard a creature, we get two two twos. If they discard a land, we get four mana, which is fine. If they discard a non-creature, we draw two cards. Pretty much no matter what our opponent discards, we're gonna be happy here. All right, discards a creature. So we get a couple zombies. Uh, no madness. Uh, opponent. Boom, crush a giant. I mean, if you're sacking Blood Tithe to kill a Waze Not Zombie, that does not feel great. She old red. Passing. All right, so we get drained. Play Field of Ruin. Actually, what's our best bet here? Play Liliana. Pick up Liliana. Discard Liliana. Draw two cards. Get a little drained. Thought sees our opponent. Take Graveyard Trespasser. Pass the turn. So opponent's out of action, but they do have the Shieldred. So we really need to get our Shieldred down. Put it, land. We need to get our Shieldred down to counteract our opponent's Shieldred. They can sack the blood, but discarding a land doesn't draw us cards. We would like to get down Turgrid inst- Wow, they're gonna do it, okay. So we make four mana. Yeah, I don't think we can activate until we get shield or down. Opponent draws, gain some life. Passes. Okay, we get drained of four. Play the land, play shieldred. Take up Liliana. Discard a go blank. Our shieldred matches our opponent's shieldred. No attacks. Trigger, trigger. Opponent needs to draw removal for Shieldred and we're in trouble. That's what gets us. All right, Graveyard Trespasser. That does not immediately get us. Passing. Field of Ruin. Are we at risk of dying to Graveyard Trespasser? Kind of. So the problem is Graveyard Trespasser attacks. That puts us to two. So I think we actually have to Gyre Reach here. Discard Thought Seize. Draw some cards. Okay, Fatal Push. So play Gaia Reach. I think this works. Play Gaia Reach. Legend rule ourselves. Triggers Revolt. Fatal Push. Kill Shieldred. Loot with Gaia Reach. Now we're actually gaining life. Discard a Swamp. Make some mana. Liliana, tick it down. Turgrid's Lantern. And pass the turn. Opponent draws. Great. Oh, this is so close. We did spend our Turgrid on Turgrid's Lantern, but I think it was worth it here. Opponent's thinking about firing up a creature land. I think we're good. Wow, this was so close. Maybe we should have waited a turn to start stealing with Turgrid. Tenacious underdog, sure. Well, gain some life drain, yeah. Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Discard a Swamp. Oh, opponent discards Shieldred and scoops it up. Okay, double waste knot. Double waste knot comes through. All right, what do we want against Rakdos? Invoke Despair's Go Blanks, Shieldred's Edict, a Thought Seize, a March, an Asylum Visitor, probably a Meat Hook Massacre. Yeah, maybe one Liliana being on the on the draw. Let's try it like that. We didn't get to see Shieldred go off, but we got to see Double Waste Knot be kind of... Re That's the power of Gaia Reach. Like, Gaia Reach is the reason we're playing this deck, and it really changes the equation when it comes to Waste Knot. Like, it, it solves the card's biggest problem, which is traditionally, once you run your opponent out of cards, it just... Uh, Waste Knot does nothing. But that's just... Every turn, trigger your waste knot, trigger your waste knot, trigger your waste knot, which is huge. Like it actually turns getting your opponent out of cards into an upside because then they're not benefiting from the symmetrical looting effect. We're benefiting because we get to loot and we're triggering our waste knots and we're maybe stealing stuff with Turgrid. So yeah, it's, it is a really, really huge deal for waste knot and explorer. On to game number two against Rakdos, we are on the draw. This is fine. Not the most exciting hand, but reasonable. Castle Hog Queen's a good draw. Well, we'll take the Fable. Opponent's hand's not very good without <laughs> without that Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Opponent tap land. Oh, they can name Gaia Reach. 
Oh, they need, okay, Liliana. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's play Waste Knot. Pass the tur. Pass. Ooh, ho, 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 that is Invoke Despair. Uh, let's Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin is our best way to revolt a fatal push. Cold Against Command doesn't do a ton until there's a creature in the graveyard. She old red. Well, okay. Field of Ruin. Blow up a land. Grab a Schwamp. Fatal push she old red. Well, let's castle lock lane and oh wait, this destroy target artifact. Alright, I guess we just gotta pass. Pass the turn. Invoke should be good next turn. Blood type harvester. Passes. Wow, that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, go blank you. Wow, this gets rid of the shielded forever. This is huge, 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 huge. Our opponent can fire off the Goldgans command, but it's not gonna do anything. Like they get back the shielded, then it just gets exiled anyway, and we're gonna get two waste knot triggers. I mean, they might as well fire it off for. Uh, we'll discard a swamp. Opponent does some discarding. And yeah, I think we're gonna go Lantern again. Lantern, activate. Is that GG's? Is that GG's? Opponent doesn't even know. Doesn't even know about Invoke Despair. <laughs> if it's not GG's, yeah, it's gonna be GG's. It's gonna be GG's once we uh, cast this Invoke. What a blowout. Waste not blow. Wow, opponent, discard the land. I, mean, I guess the mana doesn't do anything, draws a card, sure. Fable of the Miabrega. Passing. Okay, Lantern you. Yeah, I mean, I think we just do it. Invoke Despair. Not actually that absurd. It gets, it gets through most of a, it gets through most of a fable. Found it down to 11. Needs a good draw. All right, dresses our waist knot, but sees a shieldred. Found it hits us. I don't even know if we shield her though. We might just, yeah, I think we just lantern, lantern him to death. And that is a blowout of one of the best decks in the format. One of the upsides, like Turgrid's Lantern is actually like kind of synergistic and not the worst finisher. It's more fun when we're like stealing our opponent's cards, which we've seen in some games, but yeah, I mean, well, we'll take, uh, we'll take the lantern wins. <laughs> Stack sweet, deck sweet. So what do we learn this week about Turgrid Waste Knot in Explore? And the deck is actually pretty good. So we can jump over to my untap.gg stats here and see like how the deck is actually performed. So we start off at Mythic, but then there was a season reset. So we got bounced back down to Platinum. Uh, overall with the deck, 23 in 12. So a ton of matches with the deck, 66% match win percentage, which is actually just like, really good that's a that's a very solid win percentage for a pretty rogue archetype so the deck i think is actually like really competitive and it's super sweet yes we get some like mono black control style wins sometimes we just like make our opponent discard and play shieldred and jank them out with shieldred but we also got to see turgrid going off we also got to see just huge piles of waste knot triggers it is really amazing how much gaia reach sanitarium just totally changes how this deck plays it takes waste not from like a meme against the odd strategy into a real legitimate strategy. Just like having your key cards work when your opponent's empty handed is such an amazingly huge deal. So if you like making opponents discard cards and you like stealing their permanents and you like sneaky rogue decks and discard decks, I would definitely recommend this one for Explorer. Uh, it's worked way better than I thought. The win percentage is good and it is a really cool thing. So that is Turgid Waste Knot for Explorer. That's been our Much of Brew for this week. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon.